morning everyone, welcome to the first weekly vlog in a while. This week, uh, like I mentioned in the last vlog, we'll be taking you through my first full week of working remotely. I had my first day at my new job last Friday, and it was good to like get into things, uh, do a lot of reading and about documentation and onboarding and stuff, but today is the day that I actually start doing some useful work. Pretty cool that turning up to work just means approaching my desk right here and getting on with it. No wasted time. I love it. Just taking a quick break for lunch. I'm eating um, some leftover vegetables. Finished work for the day with a few meetings. Um, they're really good. I feel like meetings might be more productive when you work remotely because they're forced to be, I suppose. Yeah, I've got lots to do already, which is good because I hate when you start something new and you're like, I don't know, there's too much learning time and you're just like getting up to speed when really you just want to like get in and start doing stuff. So it's good. I feel like I've got a lot of stuff to do um, tomorrow and the rest of this week, the rest of this month, whatever. Um, one way to the supermarket now to get something for dinner and because I haven't left the house yet or today, so I thought I should probably do that. Um, and then I've got a lot of editing to do tonight because the videos that I've created for Adobe the first drafts are due tonight and they are nowhere near finished with editing so long night ahead of me needs some sustenance and put some makeup on today because last night at about midnight when I was sending off the videos that I've been making for Adobe for approval um, I discovered that the audio file for like the intro clips like the 15 second um, I guess they're gonna be used as ads uh, the audio didn't record so I need to record that bit again and edit them this morning to be sent off luckily they're only 15 seconds long, but knowing me, it's still going to take at least 5 minutes to spit the words correctly out of my mouth. It's now like 20 to 9 as well, and I wanted to start work a little bit earlier today, so grrr. But I also had a bit of a sleep in for me, because I was up so late. Anyway, let's do this. issues with the surface book that I'm currently using for the Adobe tutorials um, when I was filming them but I've just discovered something that I really like about it there's a sketchpad app and I've been using it today for drawing wireframes instead of drawing with a sharpie on a piece of paper like I normally do because if I tilt my screen down here look, everything just looks much nicer when I draw it with this pen than if I had drawn it with an actual pen because I'm terrible at drawing and I've got terribly messy handwriting so this makes everything look a bit neater and also I don't need to waste paper so that's pretty cool quite liking this you might have seen me tweeting about it but I'm gonna be filming a review of using this computer for design purposes so yeah stay tuned for that I think I'll do it um, after like in the new year because I think I'll take it away with me next week when I go to Spain and try it out more then <laughs> vlog much during the day today but it's been a good day got lots done um, I've designed an entire infographic which is exciting doesn't normally that's not normally possible within one day but I might have talked about this already but I'm really loving having all of the team come online like in my afternoon 
because that means that I get my mornings as total focus time like there's no one to talk to about stuff or like have meetings or anything um, there's a couple other people in Europe so like you're not lonely if you do want to chat but for the most part it's pretty quiet which is good so with my morning focus time I got tons done today which is amazing we also had today um, a book club where we it wasn't actually a book we talked about a TED talk but it was cool it was like a discussion about the topics in it um, and it's nice because when you work remote you don't see your workmates around the lunch table or when you're getting a cup of tea or something like that or you know just be like hey have you seen this article and point out on your computer screen those sorts of things can't happen so I love that they facilitate places for those types of conversations to happen yeah it was really nice and now though I am going to go into town I think because in all the busyness of the past few weeks I feel like I've not really been able to experience the beauty that is London at Christmas time. London goes all out for Christmas and I love it but yeah there's just not been time to actually enjoy it. Uh, there's not really time now like there's other stuff I need to do like I haven't filmed a video for this week or next week or the week after which I need to do before I go away if I want videos to go up but you know what I'm gonna go into Oxford Street. I need to do a bit of last Christmas shopping and I think it'll be nice to look at the lights and things. Now that I don't commute and I don't go into central London for like daily for a reason I guess I'm gonna have to come up with reasons to go in I think because I love London. I'm gonna put some proper clothes on because my work from home outfit is probably not appropriate for shopping in public um, and then yeah let's, let's go into town. videos this morning um, so that I can I think I talked about this yesterday but there's three two I need to film and four I need to edit before I leave for the airport tomorrow afternoon so yes I need to start now I'm gonna get uh, the two filmed um, luckily I haven't put my camera gear away yet from when I was filming those Adobe videos I've been listening to this podcast it's called Life After. Is that gonna focus? Yeah. It's like um, podcast theatre, I guess. It's like uh, a story, but told in episodes, so it's not like an audiobook, but yeah, I don't know. I, I really like it. There's another one I listen to as well that's like podcast theatre called Homecoming, which is by Gimlet Media, which is probably my favourite like podcast network. They make a lot of really great shows. Yeah, just a couple of recommendations for you if you're interested. I always like to listen to podcasts while I work and now it's quite nice because I can do that without having to have headphones on the whole day. Anyway, I don't know how I got onto that topic. Time to sit up and get filming. One done, time for a quick outfit change. Filming finished. Now I've got like half an hour before I need to start work because I'm gonna be around till like 7 p.m. tonight to join a meeting that starts at six my time. Um, so I think I'm gonna start editing actually might as well get all the footage in order because like I said I've got four videos to edit before tomorrow afternoon so let's do this how many times have I said that in this video it's gonna get annoying isn't it right I am done with work for the day now I am planning on sitting on the sofa for a bit because I've been standing up at my desk all day that's one thing about working from home is that in case you didn't know um, I have a standing desk at home that I use because I think it's, I don't know, it's good to stand where you work, helps me focus. But the best way to use a standing desk is to alternate between sitting and standing so that your legs don't get too tired or anything like that. And I've not been actually moving to sit down and I feel like, I don't know, I get focused on it, like forget, I guess, that I'm standing, which seems weird. But I'm gonna sit on the couch because my legs are pretty tired, especially because I went to the gym the other day and they were not used to that after so long without doing it. I'm gonna try and get two videos edited hmm can I do that I think I can do that and then do a massive cleanup and start sorting things out for tomorrow because 
Tomorrow is the busiest travel day of the year, as Mark keeps reminding me, and that means that I need to be super organized and get to the airport on frickin' time, because everything like security will take much longer than I think. I also managed to eat half a chocolate orange, but anyway, it's Christmas, that's allowed. Got one video edited and uploaded, another one, like the first pass done, that I'll finish tomorrow. Um, yeah, too tired now, so gonna go to bed and end this vlog. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing my first week being a remote worker. I've really enjoyed it. I need to make sure that I do get out of the house more and like go for a walk and things because not only is it good to go outside but also it's good thinking time you know i as much as the commute was annoying it was really good thinking time because it was forced time where you couldn't really be doing much else so going forward i would definitely aim to take breaks outside more often but yeah first week's been really busy obviously with getting up to speed with everything and also having that adobe project on the go those videos actually should be going live sometime today so hopefully I can link them down below for you to watch. They were a lot of work, but I'm really proud of the results. So I hope that they go down well and people like them. Okay, I'm going to go to bed now and sign off from here. There will be the tape stuck to my hand. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Though I feel like anyone new to my channel wouldn't really be watching this vlog, but still. Thank you guys for sticking around, you loyal people. I really appreciate it, and I really enjoy chatting to you in the comments, so do continue to leave them. It's fun to get to know you. Anyway, hope you have a good week, and I will see you next time. Bye.